I, I do like electrical. It's kind of fun. Maybe I'm a weirdo for that, but it's complicated. What used to be something cool where you just grabbed the handle and rolled your window down turned into a simple circuit with an up and down button. But then people wanted more convenience. They didn't want to have to hold the button down for their window to go all the way down. They wanted to just be able to hit it once. And now you have a secondary switch inside that switch, essentially. And then you ended up with systems like this. Last night, we had this 2015 Power Stroke in the shop. We rewired the dash, finally got a computer that we waited five months for back order. Get all that in. Ended up finding more corrosion in some of the wiring at the back of the vehicle in the taillights. Unplug the taillight, plug it back in. Next thing we know, the front windows won't go up. It's a crew cab. The back windows go up and down just fine. It ended up popping a fuse because we messed with the taillights. In what world is that okay? This is what's involved to roll a window down on a 2015 Power Strokes. Circuit breakers, fuses, pulse train, signals, inputs, outputs. You've got a master window control switch, which you see four or five buttons. This is what's actually going on. CAN bus requests from one side of the vehicle to the next. You've got a body control module, driver's seat, front power window motor. All of this is run off of basically computer networks now. It's a request. You're asking the computer if it's okay to roll the window down. and It lets you know whether that's okay. So window doesn't go down. Good luck. You're going to have to diagnose this now. We've now taken something so simple and made it so difficult. This is, it's dumb.